Hello everyone, my name is Przemek Kojecki and you're watching my YouTube channel. So this episode is about public speaking. Uh, this is a very important skill and uh, I really use it over and over when I go to like workshops, when I talk to people, when I take part in panels, giving keynotes, all of that stuff. And it's actually a skill which is built over time. So I never started with any kind of public speaking skill. I only build that through giving lectures, through taking part in workshops, for organizing workshops myself. So my background is in pure mathematics. I was a lecturer at Oxford. I was doing a PhD before that at uh, Paris 6 uh, in, uh, in Paris. And along the way, I was giving lectures either at seminars at, uh, uh, or for, for students at a university, but that was all in like smaller groups of 10, 20 people. But that firstly gave me a good start to actually hone my public speaking skills. But then when it comes to much larger audiences, and I guess the largest I was speaking in front of was like 2000 people at, uh, and that was a panel at Women in Tech Summit uh, last year. Uh, so you are not really prepared to do that uh, in, a, in a first shot. So, how did I arrive at the, the point that I'm, I wasn't scared of speaking in front of the real big audience? Uh, it's basically through a couple of things. Uh, first of all, there were like many conferences along the way. Uh, I felt really confident in speaking uh, on YouTube. That was the, my uh, primary so source of confidence, uh, which I built up along for, for basically for the past two years. So I started YouTube two and a half years ago, first in Polish, then I switched to English. But I really put a lot of effort of speaking more and more, speaking in front of camera and then revising the whole material. So that's really important to do if you want to speak publicly, meaning you should record yourself, even if you're not putting that on, on YouTube, but why not? Uh, you should really record yourself, revise the material, see what you're doing good, what you're doing bad, um, and then reiterate that, like try to speak again and again until you speak really well and uh, you're really happy about the outcome, you're really confident going on stage and talking about your expertise, your field, your niche, whatever it is that you're talking about, uh, it really helps when you're talking about your uh, passion, your hobby, your work, which you do on an everyday basis, so you're not feeling like you're uh, cheating, like you're lying or like you're trying to make it out there, but you're just talking naturally about what you do on an everyday basis. So that's also very important for me. I'm doing artificial intelligence, machine learning on an everyday, everyday basis. So I think about all those stuff every day. So it's very easy for me to actually talk about like what it is like to hire data scientists, build a business, start a startup, uh, do machine learning. Uh, so all those videos I'm putting on YouTube are also very natural for me. I, I don't need much preparation. It's more about organizing my thoughts in a clear and concise manner, uh, in a concise way, because I already knew all the material I wanted to say in the very first place. It's, it's only an organizing thing. So if you're going with that attitude to any kind of panel, seminar, lecture, then uh, you have much better chances of doing that well uh, because you know well what you'll be talking about. So a really good plan also helps. And then going out there, out there is great. So public speaking is all about practicality. Uh, I still honing my skills. I still am not, not totally satisfied with how well I speak at public events, but it's getting better and better with time and with all those YouTube videos, with all those already keynotes that I have given, uh, it's just getting there in time. So be patient, uh, practice your skills, and if you like this material, please subscribe to this channel and see you in the next episode. Thank you.